hello viewers welcome back to my channel it's your favorite nurse mary fred and in today's video we are going to be talking about how long it takes for the sperm to survive in the woman's body note that at a single ejaculation about a hundred million sperm is released into the woman's body just imagine a hundred million sperm is released how many get to survive how many of them get to the fallopian tube to fertilize the egg all right guys you're welcome back to my channel my channel guys if you're new on this channel kindly subscribe it's free guys just click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you'll be the first to get updates when we post a new video and for my returning subscribers i want to say thank you so much for coming around there are factors that are responsible for how long the sperm can actually survive in the body of a woman okay the nature of the cervical mucus play a very important role in this process and we're going to be looking at that before i give you the number of days in particular so welcome back guys the cervical mucus actually play a very important role in how long the sperm can survive in the woman and acidic cervical mucus is actually not favorable to the sperm because it will result to its early death but in a situation where the cervical mucus is alkaline it's alkaline the sperm tend to survive more and this is the nature that the cervical mucus usually tends to be during ovulation so you discover that at ovulation the cervical mucus becomes alkaline thereby allowing the survival of the sperm and then helping it travel to the fallopian tube for fertilization okay so acidic cervical mucus so acidic cervical mucus actually result to early death of the sperm as compared to the alkalinic ones all right so now that you have understood this let's go straight into the number of days that the sperm can actually survive in the woman's body so the estimated number of days is actually five days okay five days inside the woman's body and outside the body it actually takes 20 minutes for the sperm to survive okay so if you are trying to conceive you make judicious use of this time especially for those who might be in long distance relationship you can actually achieve you know conception if you have sex five days to your ovulation day so note that but then in that case you will actually be ending up with a baby girl i'm going to talk about that in my next video how to conceive male or female children. so like i said five days inside the woman's body and then 20 minutes outside that is why there are actually facts about people getting pregnant even without penetration because the sperm can actually survive outside the woman's body for at least 20 minutes and in that 20 minutes a lot can happen if the cervical mucus at that time is favorable sperm can just make its way through the service and up to the fallopian tube for fertilization guys okay um, but according to study the female uh, sperm cell actually survived the five days why the male sperm cell kind of survived for three days but on the average the sperm survived five days in the woman's body after ejaculation and 20 minutes outside the woman's body so if you do not want to conceive and you are trying during ovulation even if it is with drawer method you need to be very careful make sure the sperm is deposited far away from the vagina okay so to avoid I didn't know how it happens all right so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you are yet to watch my video on signs and symptoms of ovulation I am going to drop it in the description and also if you're to watch the video on how to calculate your ovulation days safe and unsafe days i am also going to be dropping the link in the description box guys so thank you all so much for watching this video if you are yet to subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to get updates when a new video is posted i love you all so much and i'll see you in my next video